Hey everybody, it's Rich with Anglers coming at you again, and today I've got another special guest. So uh, today we have Bill with BKD, as most of you know by now. Uh, this weekend, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're going to have our, our Thanksgiving, Black Friday, Small Business Saturday special. And so we want to take this opportunity to highlight another great local small business. Uh, for Small Business Saturday, we're going to be doing some extra uh, savings. So definitely check out our website for the flyer, all the information online about the sale. Um, if you stop in the store, make sure you grab a flyer. Um, quick note, we are doing curbside pickup. We are also doing virtual shopping. You can schedule your virtual shopping experience online. So check out our website. Um, and you can shop online virtually with us, and then we will have your packages ready to go. You show up and you're good to go. You don't have to come in the store. So. Um, Bill? That's an awesome deal. It, it is. It works out really well. That's awesome um, so, Bill, thanks for coming by today. Yeah, appreciate um, you having me. So, I, everybody in the Bay knows about BKD at this point. If you don't, get ready to take some notes because these are great products. Um, I've been using them for a long time. Um, just a simple, easy design, but so effective. effective. They work really, really well. And durable. And they're very durable. Yes, they hold up really, really well. Um, so let's talk a little bit about BKDs. I'm going to pull one out so that we can kind of look at it. We'll pull one of the popular colors, which are white, right? Yep. Um, that, is, that is the most popular color. We sell more white than anything, mainly because you can do a lot of things with it. Yes. Yes, you know, very versatile. So it's a clean yeah. slate. Yep, you got a white one, but if you want to put some dye on it with some uh, um, of the uh, um, um, garlic scent, mm -hmm. whatever, it works, it works great. Works great on all the colors, but white obviously is the one that really shows the contrast. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so pretty easy rigging, I and mean, there's not really much to these. I like to chop the nose off a little bit. I so. usually bite it off. Yes, sometimes I don't, but usually I do. Yeah. And then, of course, um, we have a jig head that we designed to make the collar just a little bit smaller so it doesn't split. Right. Um, and some people glue them on. We find with, with our jig head, we don't really have to glue it on. Uh, one of the things that uh, uh, we're proud about our jig heads, and I think probably were the first ones on the bay to do it, was to use this black nickel wide gap hook. Yeah. That goes back to the old days of Steve Siegel, yep. Captain Steve Siegel. But we've, we've stuck with it. So we have a nice wide gap hook put a nice size hook on each weight and uh like i said the probably the number one question that we get though is do you do you, do you <laughs> rig it out the bottom or do you rig it out the top right there's no right or wrong way i actually rig mine uh i bite it off but since i have the mask on i'm just going to go ahead but i rig mine out the back probably the biggest reason i do that is because it stays on the hook easier that way better longer yeah if you rig it out the bottom which a lot of my customers do a lot of my friends do it probably gives you it's a little bit easier to bring out because you don't have to hit a spot and the thing it does it probably gives you a little more action but that is the area where to wear out quickest probably right and just for, for folks at home that are watching just so that you can get an idea if you look at the bait You'll notice that it has a little bit of a belly on the bottom here, kind of comes to this taper, but it also has the slot. This slot, this is, is used for a variety of different rigging purposes. So when we refer to the back, it's the solid back, and then the bottom or the underside or belly would have this slot in it. The slot works really well if you're going to rig this weedless with a wide gap hook, right. where the hook's going to come down and it's going to come out the top, and it allows that hook to actually slide into the slot when the fish grabs it, giving that hook a weedless presentation, and then when the fish grabs it, the hook can kind of slide up, kind of pop up. But when we jig them with, when we rig them for the jigging purposes on these jig heads, we don't really have to worry about rigging them weedless. Right, right. So, yeah, it's just different. It's personal preference. For personal on how you're preference. Rig it, yeah. And I do have some friends that'll rig it this way, and if they're using somebody else's jig head and it starts mm -hmm. wearing out there, you can actually take it off and flip it over come out the back of it and it gives you a little more time with yeah, that bait. It prolongs yeah. the, the life of that particular yep. bait. Yeah, that's awesome. And so we've got a wide variety of colors in stock. Um, popular colors, again, we talked about white. I'm a big fan of the two-tone green glitter. Um, I like that color contrast, a little bit darker back, lighter belly, I like the flake in it. One of our best sellers for sure. Pink, pink delight, similar kind of contrasting color with the flake, um, but the pink. Pink is a fantastic color. For, for a our, lot of different fish. Oh, for a lot of different fish in our color water, that green stained water, white chartreuse do work really well, obviously, but the pink is a good one. Bubblegum is a good color. That's a fairly new one for you That's guys. That's new this year, and I mm -hmm. actually fished it for the first time two weeks ago, and um, 
I'd like to say that I probably was more successful than everybody else on the boat. Oh, uh, nice. They were catching fish, don't get me wrong, but it was continuous hookup, it seemed nice. like. Nice. So, really happy about that. That's like the first time I really, I, you know, I really fished it and yeah. did well. And you can rig these just, just this way on a jig head without a skirt, or you can put a skirt on. I like using that bubblegum pink, and then I'll put a chartreuse skirt over top of it. It's a really nice contrast. Um, highlight some other colors. We've got uh, the LY. Huge fan of the LY. Yeah. Um, I love that blue flake in it. It's just something a little extra different to it. I like that kind of darker profile, but it's not really, really dark. If you want a really dark profile, one step down here would be um, uh, this, this one's the Midnight Lightning. So right. uh, black, it's got a little little bit of flake. So a lot of those for guys that fish at night. Yes, great huh. silhouette pattern, yep, yep. Uh, which is nice. And then we've got some exclusive colors to angler. So you, they you're, are. you're uh, we're thankful enough that you make us some colors that are just exclusive to us. We've got the salt sh uh, the pepper shaker. Uh, so shark truce back with the white belly, and the white belly's got some black flake in it, which looks pretty cool. Yep. And then, of course, slimy bunker. Uh, we'll be doing some additional savings on some of these throughout the sales events, so make sure you check out the website for further information. Um, now, the jig heads that you make, you make them in a variety of sizes. They're all white with the red eye, so they match everything. Yeah, you can use these on We have three eighths through two ounce, okay. and we also have a two ounce with a 2x hook on it. Oh, nice. And uh, that's relatively new also. Oh, that's awesome. So we just got to restock. Thank you, Bill, for, for, yep. for dropping by to do this. Uh, we've got a fresh stock of these in just in time for the sales event, so make sure you guys stop by and stock up. Um, and then we've got your 10-inch baits over here. So you do 6-inch and you do 10-inch. 10-inch, right. 10-inch um, baits are going to be great for the wintertime, fishing the power plant, fishing for warm water discharges, the Bay Bridge where you're, you, you do congregate some bigger fish. Bay Bridge Tunnel, um, and these aren't just striper baits. You oh, can that's use, for sure. You can use the smaller ones for redfish, sea trout. We were talking earlier, you've heard some stories of guys catching giant fluke on these or flounder. Yep. Um, you, know, you can use them for a wide variety of species. I know personally I've rigged the BKDs in the larger size, the 10 inch, in this LY color, and I've used them offshore. Um, we have customers that win tournaments yeah. for tuna. On, on that LY glitter in a 10 inch. You lay that 10 inch next to a valley hill and the coloration is almost identical. Oh, cool. And when you're trolling it, you know, eight to nine knots offshore, right. that tail it gets a nice waddle nice. to it. it. Swim nice. They're yep. really easy to re-rig when they get torn up on a big fish, like a giant tuna comes up and nails it. So yep. um, definitely versatile species um, for, for your baits. So um, I think that about does it. We, we look forward to seeing you guys coming in. Again, check out the website for further information on the sale, all the different things that we have going on. Small Business Saturday. Um, we'll have additional savings on local businesses, which BKD is a part of. We appreciate uh, that. So, yeah, we, we thank you for coming in, Bill. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys over the weekend. So uh, good luck out there. Have fun.